Hey, what's up all my cancer people? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal. All right, you guys, I miss you guys so much, all right? So what we're gonna do today is a general reading. I recorded some general readings on a different device, can't get them off, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just redo the readings. Follow my TikTok page, channel. Um, I do have some readings up there. So this is for anybody with cancer placements in their chart. I'll tell everybody tarot card readings are like advice. You take it, we leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. It may not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody, okay? Any cards that I use, any information about personal readings is going to be listed in the description box below, okay? So uh, let's get started. So I'm going to use the relative tarot deck to get one card for your overall energy for my cancers, okay? Fell on the floor. Queen of Cups, okay? I like it. She fell out kind of weird, but so you guys might be emotional about something. Now, I don't know about uh, the look on this Queen of Cups face, but uh, it does look a little iffy. Maybe you're just in a nonchalant energy. Maybe you are just kind of in your own zone. That's what I'm hearing. You have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So it could be something going on with family as family is like standing around bickering or something. You just like, yeah, like they always do this or something like that. So it could be some issues going on in the family. Um, it could have something to do with money, work. Let's see. But I definitely feel like you're in your own energy, right? You're in your own zone. You have the Ace of Swords here in reverse. <laughs> What else, Cancer? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. The Knight of Wands in reverse. So I'm definitely getting some type of gossip. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. Could be about somebody. You could, you learn about somebody they broke or you learn somebody they lost everything. This could be somebody in your family. It might be something like you hear this, this gossip, you know. But I don't think it's necessarily the truth, though. So this could be even about you, right? Maybe that's why you're not bothered by this, because it's not true, right? You have the Ace of Swords here. I just feel like somebody is telling, like, a blatant lie. I don't know if it's you lying. I hope not. But this could be somebody just lying about you, because your energy is upright. You have the Knight of Wands here in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles. So I'm really getting that somebody really jumped the gun so somebody might have not uh, not have known the whole story or something and somebody went and jumped and ran and, and said something or did something what's the ace of swords in reverse the nine of pentacles here in reverse so this could be somebody that's very insecure with the nine of pentacles in reverse i feel like they they just they don't dress right or they just don't feel you know a hundred percent about themselves like i feel like this person has nothing to do they got like mental issues emotional issues or something like that with the knight of wands in reverse and the ten of cups so this could be somebody in your family this could be like a disruption at the fam at a family event or you have the will of fortune so I'm getting like an unexpected visitor as well for somebody. So I feel like somebody, everybody's all good until somebody just show up or something. What's the Eight of Pentacles? The Four of Cups that came out sideways. So this could be somebody from your past. Maybe you, the Page of Pentacles in reverse, but somebody from your past, maybe you just not. Like you turn, y'all turn this person around or something. Like this could be some like work drama too, or somebody is at work, like trying to raise hell or something. And y'all like try to like usher this person out. But I feel like this person is just not, not leaving or something, or this could be about somebody, I feel like maybe somebody stole something from work. Yeah, like, look, it's like an angry mob. You have the seven of wands in reverse. Like, or this could be like a bar fight or a fight, you know, within the family or in an event or somebody family, you know, gang up on somebody. What is this? You have the eight of swords in reverse. <laughs> 
and somebody slide, like somebody done did something, then they done slid, you had a six or something. <laughs> Somebody like, I'm not staying for this. Let me get the hell out of here. So, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I get it now. Okay. I think it's you that's trying to get out of here because you see that all of this stuff is going the wrong direction. So, I feel like you're trying to get low or something. Two of Pentacles. I feel like you were indecisive about going or indecisive or if this is a job, you've been considering quitting. Like, you're just indecisive about something. You really haven't made the decision yet. But after all of this, you just like, nah, I'm going to have to separate myself because somebody's absolutely too messy or this situation is way too messy. You have the hermit here and the three of wands in reverse and the king of cups in reverse. So don't let them drag you into all of this. Or if hopefully you guys didn't start this, you know what I'm saying? Because this is a mess, okay? Um, I feel like separate yourself from this as far as possible. Let's get an angel number. Oh, okay. I am a leader. Exactly. It's, it, that's what I was saying. Okay, 28. In an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team toward achievement, right? They're saying be the bigger person, okay? Be the bigger person, okay? Don't be in there, you know, and I say that because the King of Cups is here at the bottom. And look, the Knight of Cups is right behind him, on, in, both of them in reverse. So that's why I said don't let them drag you into this or don't stir up any pots. You have um, at the bottom, number 26, I am tactful, okay? Um, you have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. Tactful, and I, I, I get somebody acting tactfully. You get what I'm saying? Let's get the Vox Arcana. We're going to see exactly if there's any more additional information that Spirit wants to let us know about this particular situation or if they want to hit on something else. Okay. Two of Pentacles is in reverse. Okay, and I'm going to keep it like this because the Six of Swords, it came out sideways. And the King of Cups, he back, he on this deck, on the bottom in reverse. So, I feel like sometimes it's best to kind of make a decision than to, than to not make a decision. Sometimes not making a decision can be just as bad as making the wrong decision. Um, but with the three of pentacles here, the ace of pentacles in reverse, um, I really feel like there's a opportunity for you to maybe help somebody, or maybe there's an opportunity for somebody to help you. You have the seven of pentacles here too. So 17 minus eight, minus two, eight of pentacles. So this could be at work. It's kind of like if you scratch their back, they'll scratch your back or something like that. I feel like look, the seven of pentacles. So this may be an opportunity to um, gain more money or something like that. But why is the six of swords? It's coming out sideways. The three of swords here in, in reverse. I feel like you guys are hesitant. So maybe you tried something like this before, or, you know, maybe you have your own plans in your mind, like things that you want to do, but this opportunity presents itself and you like, man, you know, but I have my own plans. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you, you guys are indecisive because I don't know y'all, but y'all need to take this money. The nine of pentacles, what are y'all doing? Y'all need to jump on this opportunity. That's 19 minus two, 17, that's eight of pentacles. So this is a job opportunity. This is something that you work for. Maybe for some, some of you guys, it could be like some type of savings or some type of Many little gold mine. I don't know. You have the Ace of Swords in reverse. And the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. Again. So, if you get these, this money, right, or this opportunity, that's what I was about to say. Don't just throw it all away. 
you know what I'm saying? I feel like you could really use this or something like that, but you'll also kind of see who acts funny about money. I feel like there's somebody who's like, like maybe like a spoiled brat or some family members that feel like, you know, hey, I deserve this or you should give me this or, you know, just they feel entitled to your money. King of Pentacles in reverse. So for some of you guys, I feel like you definitely be going through some financial hardships. King of Wands, it's only been a few people that's been there for you. You have the Empress here, so that, that person could be your mother, that person could be your, your kid or something, somebody that you know has been there for you while others haven't. You have the Devil in Reverse and the Hangman. And I feel like somebody knows how to pull like your heartstrings too. So just be, just be cautious of these people as you receive opportunities and financial blessings. This is definitely God sent, heaven sent. So don't miss it because you know, people feel like you're not, you know, whatever. You know how people can get when they mad because you got an opportunity or they mad because you came up and they didn't. If you guys got Leo in your chart, if you're a cusper, watch that. Because that was definitely, Leo had a, an amazing reading. So definitely watch that. Let's get one oracle card for you guys before we wrap this up. Protection. Mm hmm okay and source and it could be and remember i said there was a, a a gift directly from god but with this protection here i feel like you guys are like it's like a bubble surrounded you while all this is, is going on it's like some mess around you but if you stay out of it i feel like you'll be protected don't mess with it don't stir the pot okay so it says you are safe and protected honor your integrity Yes. Always prepare for battle. The night offers security to those who are unable to help themselves. A symbol of honor, protection, and integrity throughout history, knights uh, obeyed strict rules and codes of conduct of virtue and faith. Previously, you may have been on the receiving end of jealous comments, gossip, or corporate backstabbing, making you cautious around others. Honorable intentions are questioned now. Stay on guard. Sinister activities are happening behind the scenes. Mm -mm. Take a firm approach. Your soul knows that you need protection. Know that you are supported with love and heavenly guidance. Spiritually, you may have felt that you have been under attack from others. Be aware of the impact of your own energy and other people's emotions in response. Do you thrive or do you involve yourself in drama? It's important to remember that no matter how people react in any given circumstance, you can only control your actions, no one else's. Try not to take things personally. You are asked now to follow through and act with integrity. Be impeccable with your word. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Right now, the night is asking you to stand guard and be firm with your beliefs and actions. Complacency can be risky right now, so get all the facts before you act. Have faith. You have the strength to get through any challenges you face right now. Your patience is being challenged. Focus on your own energy and how you can improve and strengthen your state of being without compromising your integrity. Show gratitude and be thankful for what you have in your life with humility and grace. The affirmation is, I am safe. I know I am protected as I walk my path each day. Amen to that. Okay, you guys. So that was it, Cancer. I think that wrapped it up. But I told y'all, don't start a pot, okay? Don't be... Don't be being messy, okay? All right, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have, you already know I appreciate it. So until next time, y'all already know what it is. Highlight the play. We see you in the street, Bye.